How's it going YouTube? I am now finished completely with the cabinet and frame assembly. It's together, all the drawers are in, and most importantly it's off my bench. So now I am turning to the torsion box top, the flip top. I have a track saw, just a cheap uh, shop box, and that's what I'm choosing to use. Um, you can also obviously just use a straight edge and a in a saw. Um, I did that a little bit earlier on the longer piece um, to break it down. I just clamped that to the piece of board. So anyways, um, lots of different methods. This is a bigger piece, so you might need to get a little creative. I mean, technically you can run it through your table saw backwards, or not backwards, but on the opposite side of the fence. Um, but that's how I'm choosing to do it. Should be able to get it nice and square. And here we go, I marked halfway down the torsion top and I uh, put in my bottom of my tunnel spacer. And these spacers are going to work out perfectly because you're going to use them based off of the plywood that you use. So you're going to add your first layer here, mark it dead center, down the middle, pre-drill and then put some uh, short screws through them so it holds nice and tight. And then you'll cut your side tunnel to length. And again, I uh, choose to screw my screws towards the tunnel so it'll be nice and perfectly aligned. Flip it and do the other side. And then we're gonna sink in your first, your second spacer, I should say. I did not have full lengths, so I just chopped up a few and put them in there. Either way, full length strip or just piecing together a few and putting them in there is gonna be just fine. And I actually marked where I put my other screws so I didn't screw these into those screws. And again, screwing this spacer down. And if you are having to piece it together like me, just make sure you're bottoming out all those spacers in there so they're sitting all flush. And then if you drop the pipe in, you can put your next spacer in on top of that, and that's gonna be flush with that tunnel. Then you add this three quarter piece to cap off the tunnel, and you got a perfectly aligned center. And you don't have to do a lot of measuring because this is all based off your plywood thicknesses, so fractions of an inch aren't gonna matter here because you base it off of your plywood. And then I'm off to the rest of the torsion box, getting the front sides and inner grid all put in. And it's worth taking your time here. Um, if anything, your bottom and top piece, you could actually run those a little bit uh, larger than the structure itself. And then uh, you could go back with a flush trim router bit and, and flush it with uh, your torsion box. And I'm pocket holding the inner grid, taking in consideration of when I'm screwing it towards the bar itself. 
go. I marked uh, on the cart where I want my dowels to go into to lock the top from spinning. Um, I then transferred that mark to my two back pieces. Now I'm going to drill through them evenly so that they're the same on each side. And then I'll mount them and then I'll have locations to start drilling through the, uh, the cart once I get to that process. And this is a place where if you want to get fancy with the uh, torsion top and run any kind of wiring, LED lights, uh, anything like that, there is enough room uh, in this grid to be able to do, you know, some, some things like that if you want to have this open underneath to uh, store some things uh, like you've seen on a Pulk style workbench or even James King's uh, assembly table. Um, this would be the time to go ahead and do that before you finish the assembly and run all that stuff. And now I put the bottom on real quick and uh, marked out where the grid is and I'm going to pre-drill and countersink. Uh, four screws. And I'm using inch and a quarter inch uh, spack screws. And here I am, I'm using my flush trim bit to flush the top to the sides. And then I'm using a little quarter inch round over just to soften the edges. And here's how I'm going to start mounting the flange and the center pole. I'm just using a square, whatever I had handy, to find the center and have something rested on so I can get those screws in. And get a friend and get the uh, top. Take that bottom piece off that you had screwed on slide it over the tunnel and then slide it on should have a nice friction fit right there and now uh, I'm putting the tunnel piece back on I locked the top into place. Um, I screwed a screw right through the center section up here and then I clamped it to the side cabinet. If you remember before we drilled a hole in the same place on each side, I need to transfer this hole into it. and then I need to make sure it's even on both sides. And you could actually just transfer that center of that hole into your leg assembly there, move the top out of the way and then drill your hole through. It'd be a little bit easier than uh, trying to make it all the way through because there is a little bit of a gap there. Once you get that done, you flip it over and get that top on. <laughs> 